everybody my name is tuna and welcome to the tcnj kids show today you're here with me i have my friend welcome to the jasmine ben i today we're going to be talking on the potential of nigeria Nigeria is an ethnic society with over 256 languages. We have six geopolitical zones. We are blessed with natural resources and very talented people. So we're going to be talking about the potential of Nigeria. Is there a story of Nigeria that you've heard that makes you happy? No. Mm, no. I've heard of when Nigeria got her independence First, Nigeria was happy, then the British came to rule over Nigeria. Then there was somebody that came up and said, and talked to the British and said that you can, we want to be independent, we want to be free. And sometime later, they said that this thing, the man said, maybe we should do it. And Nigeria got our independence, we are no more under the British colony. If you were the one to fight for Nigerians' independence, would you have been able to do it, and how? Well, well, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure if I had the strength to do it. I'm going to be honest, I, I not, don't have done it. If I had the strength to do it, I would have done it. And when the person that was speaking for Nigeria was doing it, I would have joined him to say that what he's saying is true. And I will, I will make them more convinced that we need to be free and independent so you said you wouldn't have done it why because i'm scared that if i had done it they would have been looking for me everywhere trying to put me in jail okay well if i had done it i had a feeling that i'm not that i'm not grew up to this age that i've, I've died in there okay so you're afraid that they would have attacked you yes so how do you think you can contribute to nigeria's greatness in the future well i can start I can start with that corruption should be should be down. That, that corruption should be scattered. That corruption should leave the earth. Okay. Nigeria's criminal criminal rates should, should should reduce. If um I was to contribute, I would first start with good government, the, the um politics, the president. I'll make sure that one is better. So and then I reduce the corruption. And then the criminal rates would be something close to the corruption, which I'll reduce both of them at the same, try to re- reduce both of them at the same time. So that Nigeria will not have the criminal and corruption rates. What is corruption in your view? Okay, corruption is like when the, pre- when the governor or the president gives someone money to make the road, instead they will go and use it for their, for their daily lives and they will eat the money. That's what corruption means to me. Corruption is like when politicians come to be your friend and start saying that you should vote for some somebody. The person will go and vote for another people and, and, and the person that politicians go and vote for be the one to win. Mm-hmm. Corruption to me is like the government not doing what they are meant to do. Okay, so what now do you think is wrong with the wrong with the government? First of all, the government is making fuel price too high and we cars cannot buy fuel again, only little fuel we can buy. First of all, the the, the fuel scarcity is too much for Nigeria. Second of all, the, the government should, should reduce one dollar to naira. For this fuel, the if you want to buy fuel, the price might be up. The price will be high, but when you get your fuel, it will be, the fuel will not be much for what you paid for. And the road, they haven't fixed it. Like my area, if you see it, the road is not fixed. Before you get to a filling station, you have some people are using one road to go like this and to go. So and one so the government is not really going well with the fuel and the road. So fuel and the road. What you are trying to say that you get you pay a lot, yet you get stuck in traffic. Your fuel has already finished. Yes. Mm. Yep. So, sometimes. Sometimes. Every time. Is there a time like your car ran out of fuel on the road? No. No. Because, sure I, because well, well, no, because every time like we want to come to church, my father goes to a, a fuel station and, and puts small fuel in the car. They just just to be safe. Okay. 
So what roles do you think young people like you should play in making Nigeria great? Okay, first, I'll tell the government that, that you should give good the money to good people who can fix my, my area well and other roads. If I was to make Nigeria a better place, I will first start educating myself on Nigeria by the time I'm, I'm out of university or out of NYC. I can go and say that we don't. I don't want this. I don't want this to be happening. I want Nigeria to be better. Right now, at Nigeria's current state, if you were in the position to, would you change the government? First of all, I'll tell the government is that what he's doing is not right. That the fuel price is too is too much. Second of all, that he should stop giving us small small products and and it's the large amount of money. Well, if if I had the power to control the government, I'll just I'll tell them to reduce reduce one dollar amount in Naira. If I was to say things to the government is to first let them change Nigeria. People that are making laws, maybe they should make the laws more understanding to the people and the people too should follow the laws. If not, the, that's how the the um, legislature who are the make, making making the laws will will make the laws more complicated. I'll try to make the government, the legislature, government to to make the laws more simple for people to follow. And also, I will talk to the government about high amount and small products. Okay, so do you think the government is going doing a good job of stopping people from doing things against the law? I'm not sure if the government is doing the right or wrong thing, but I have a feeling that he's doing the wrong thing because he's make he, he's making the fuel price increase and all, and all these days my my area had hardly has lights. I don't think the government is doing a good job, a good job. Because if the government was doing a good job, the Nigerian's criminal rate would have reduced highly by now. Okay, now we're going to talk about Nigeria of our dreams. People are always going to UK. They're always japa in. Oh, it feels well <laughs> combining pidgin with English. So what kind of what kind of Nigeria do you imagine? What should kids be experiencing in Nigeria? Well, first of all, kids kids like us should be, you know, getting to school early. Not wasting time, but but sometimes if you want to Japan, they have to think well that Nigeria has more, more something else than American has. Nigeria has gold, silver, and Amer and you can, and American people come to Nigeria to just sell, take that from us. Also, because we have sun, they like it. Morning sun that gives them vitamin D. People run away from Nigeria, and I don't blame them. But some people, some people that don't know the good qualities of Nigeria, like the gold and silver they have, uh, and how rich the country is. I think people sh sh should not be running away from, from Nigeria, because that means that they're just reducing our population. And next thing you know, Nigeria will not even be a popular country anymore. People are always running from Nigeria. I don't like it, because Nigeria, we are blessed with natural resources. And we have we don't have much natural disasters like other countries do. Mm. I don't want people to be running away from Nigeria because next thing you know, Nigeria has reduced. There's no more Nigeria. Maybe it's not even nobody might even be here. So, so the Nigeria of my dreams is basically all these countries other people are going to. Those country have those countries have good roads, good houses. They are, their criminal rate is not very high. Even if it's high, they are ba they are police is good able to stop those criminal rates and all just basically the environment is good for somebody to be living in so if nigeria has that and the fuel prices go down the exchange rate is better for us i think nigeria will be a better place entirely and then i also feel like the president himself needs to contribute to to this travel out of the country the next 30 years if nigeria becomes a better place do you think they'll regret traveling well no because they, they can just travel back anytime but how about if they're not in the position to oh the, 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 then they'll regret it okay Jasmine.
yes if people travel out and nigeria becomes a better place they will regret it because now nigeria is a better place they'll be thinking oh why did i travel out when it's here nigeria is now and they could still travel back but if they are not in a position like if they don't have money to do that it won't be the they will have they will regret it now if you are the president what are the top five things you will change first i'll change corruption second i'll make sure patri patriotism is increased also i'll make sure hard work will be will increase i'll make sure all all criminals will be arrested and that's the that's the five things i want to do maybe therefore first i'll just do advertisement of nigeria and how good it is so, so more people will come second uh, I will arrest all, all criminals that I hear of. I will look, look for the um, location. And third, I'm going to reduce corruption. The first thing I'll do is reduce corruption in Nigeria. The, well, the high amount and, and small products, I will make that stop. And I will make sure all criminals, all the things that are happening in Nigeria, all the kidnappers, all the kidnapping, the robbing, I, pre I will make it stop. And I'll also make sure that roads are good so people can move faster. And I'll make sure that everyone enjoys Nigeria so they can stay. Okay, you guys are talking about corruption a lot. Are you corrupt? No. I'm not corrupt, but I'm... From what my parents always say when they watch the news, even when I will hear the news, yes, Nigeria is corrupt, but I'm not corrupt. Okay, today's Bible reference is Proverbs 14.34. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin condemns any people. The verse suggests that a, country great, a country's greatness is tied to its righteousness. So what does that mean to you? Well, first of all, this this Bible verse means to me is that 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 our country should be great, should be great, and every and all bad things should be gone. Okay. And righteousness should come in. Okay, Jasmine. To me, it's like Nigeria right now is covered with sin. We should just so what it means to me is that since Nigeria is covered with sin, we should try to make Nigeria. To become righteous, let righteousness come into Nigeria instead of it being full with sin. Okay. Well, this means that Nigeria should stop, should try and stop traditional religion fully now. Because some people are still doing traditional religion and that's sinning. The Bible says that righteousness will make a nation better. But, but Nigeria no not fully righteous. So what this scripture means to me is that for a nation to become great, they have to become godly. They have to reduce the amount of sin. Like you see, a corruption rate has to be reduced. So that's what all our panelists have to say for today. Thank you all for watching this episode on the TCNJ Kids podcast. Make sure to follow our social media page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and send us a DM on Instagram. I'm your host, Tona, and thank you for tuning in to this episode. Happy, Happy Independence, Independence Day, Nigeria! Day, Nigeria.